name is Fela Aina. Um, I'm 28 years old, just turned 28. And I am in my church choir. Um, I've been in a choir now for going on four years. Um, I do have a passion for singing. For me, it's how I connect to God. For me, it's how I best praise, how I best worship. There's been many moments, obviously, where I feel like God has, you know, really shown up. But there was a, a particular moment that he, he really showed up and I really testify to this day in which I was involved in a really bad car accident where at the time it was happening I, I thought I was going to lose my life. Basically I was on my way back to KICC. I'd been helping out at an event in KICC in Kent and I was extremely tired because the event had been going on for the past week and I was driving along the motorway obviously didn't realise how tired I was. So before I knew it, I, I didn't even realise that my eyes had closed. I opened my eyes and the car was drifting towards the central dividers. So in a panic, and I think in, in, a, in a daze, I kind of swerved to the left. Um, I clearly swerved a bit too much and before I knew it, the car was just spinning, spinning, spinning. I didn't know where I was gonna land. My eyes were open throughout the whole thing. I was just witnessing the, the windows, the car just crushing all around me. All I could do was hold onto the steering wheel. I scream, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. And eventually the car, the car stopped on the bank on the side. So I had started in the fast lane, went over three lanes and the hard shoulder to end up where I was and I landed on the side of the car, on my side of the car. I grabbed my phone, I had two phones, I grabbed one of the, the one that I could see and dialed 999. So they took me to the nearest hospital which was Medway Hospital and um, they did a few checks there. They said because of my seatbelt, where my seatbelt was, that they found bleeding around my heart. So they had to rush me in an ambulance to St Thomas's in London. They did more checks on me and thank God there was, there was no bleeding around my heart. I didn't have to do any surgery or nothing, I was fine. And I not only survived, but I, I, I came out of that with no broken bones, not even a, a, a sprain or just, just nothing. And for me, I don't know about anyone else, but that in itself is is a miracle to say the least. I mean, God has done a lot for me, but to deliver me from that is probably my, my, my biggest testimony. I mean, I'm grateful for life anyway. I'm grateful for life in general. Every day I wake up and I'm grateful for, for God to, to get me through that. No one can tell me that there's no God. I mean, there's there's... There's less intense accidents that happen and people come out, you know, and people don't make it, which is probably not even the worst thing that can happen. People, you know, are paralyzed, unable to walk, unable to talk. Or well, yeah, they don't make it, but here I am. My car flipped over a couple times. I was fully awake through everything. And um, yeah, here I am, still alive, and I will forever, forever be grateful. For me, this accident has actually brought me closer to God. I'm alive for a reason and a purpose, and I must fulfill that purpose, and I must, you know, I must, I'm, I'm, I'm just great. It's just made me so, so grateful to God and, and just wanting to know him more, to know what that purpose is, and to, you know, to really figure out what, what I'm meant to do on this earth. Why is it that he's kept me why is it that he kept me through that accident? Why is it that he's kept me these 28 years on this earth? Um, and I, I did receive so much support from Glory House members. I mean, even while I was in the hospital, two of my pastors came to see me. Um, some of my choir members came to see me and that was just so, it was, it was nice, it was comforting. 
it was it was just it was nice to know that you know it's not just in church that you know it is a genuine care and love for each other and and it was it was nice um yeah